the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Gandang umaga po sila ng lahat. Kahapon ay Sacred Heart. Ngayon po, ang Sabado, Immaculate Heart of Mary. Kahapon sa anak, ngayon sa ina. To prepare ourselves, celebrate the sacred mysteries. Let's call to mind our sins. Be truly sorry for them. I confess, Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins, bring us everlasting life. Amen. Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy. Christ of mercy. Christ of mercy. Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy. Let us pray. Grant, Lord God, that we, your servants, may rejoice in unfailing health of mind and body, and through the glorious intercession of Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, may be set free from present sorrow, come to enjoy eternal happiness through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book, of lamentation. The Lord has consumed without pity all the dwellings of Jacob. He has turned down in his anger the partresses of Dothar, Judah. He has brought to the ground in dishonor her king and her princess on the ground in silent seat, the old men of Dothar, Zion. They strew thus on their heads and gird themselves with sackcloth. The maiden of Jerusalem bow their heads to the ground. Burn out from weeping are my eyes. Within me all is in ferment. My gall is poured out on the ground because of the downfall of the daughter of my people. As child and infant faint away, in the open spaces of the town. In vain, they ask their mothers, where is the grain as they faint away like the wounded in the streets of the city and breath their last in their mother's arms? To so what can I liken or compare you, O Dother Jerusalem? What example can ha can sh I show you for your comfort, virgin daughter Zion? For great as the sea is your downfall, who can heal you? Your prophets had for you fall, false and specious visions. Did they did not lay bare your guilt to avert your f fate? They beheld for you in vision, false and misleading portents. Cry out to the Lord, mourn, O Luther Zion. Let your tears flow like a torrent day and night. Let there be no respite for you, no repose for your eyes. Rise up, surreal in the night. At the beginning of every watch, pour out your heart like water in the presence of the Lord. Lift up your hands to Him for the lives of your little ones who faint from hunger at the cor corner 
of every street. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, forget not the souls of your poor ones. Lord, forget not the soul of your poor ones. Why, O God, have you cast us off forever? Why does your anger smother against the sheep of your pasture? Remember your flock which you built up of old, the tribe you redeemed as your inheritance, Mount Zion, where you took up your abode. Lord, forget not the soul of your poor ones. Turn your steps toward the other ruins, toward all the damage the enemy has done in the sanctuary. Your foes roar triumphantly in your shrine. They have set up their tokens of victory. They are like men coming up with access to the clump of trees. Lord, forget not the soul of your poor ones. With chisel and hammer, they hack at all the paneling of the sanctuary. They set your sanctuary on fire. The place where your name abides, they have raised and profaned. Lord, forget not the souls of your poor ones. Look to your covenant for the hidden places in the land, and the plains are full of violence. May the humble not retire in confusion. May the afflicted and the poor praise your name. Lord, forget not the souls of your poor ones. Please stand. Christ took away our infirmities and bore our diseases. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to you. Glory to you, O Lord. Each year, Jesus' parents went to Jerusalem for the feast of the Passover. And when he was 12 years old, they went up according to the festival custom. After they had completed its days, as they were returning, the boy Jesus remained behind in Jerusalem. But his parents did not know it, thinking that he was in the caravan. They journeyed for a day and looked for him among their relatives and acquaintances. But not finding him, they returned to Jerusalem to look for him. After three days, they found him in the temple, sitting in the midst of teachers, listening to them and asking them questions. And all who heard him were astounded at his understanding and his answers. When his parents saw him, they were astonished. And his mother said to him, Son, why have you done this to us? Your father and I have been looking for you with great anxiety. And he said to them, why were you looking for me? Did you not know that I must be in my father's house? But they did not understand what he said to them. He went down with them and came to Nazareth and was obedient to them. 
and his mother kept all these things in her heart. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang umaga po ulit sa inyo lahat. Buti naman nagsimba kayo ngayon. Kahapon, Sacred Heart. Ngayon, Immaculate Heart of Mary. At kagaya ng sinabi ko kanina, kahapon sa anak, ngayon sa ina. Parating magkakabit yung dalawa. Kung minsan hanapin mo yung anak, magpatulong ka sa ina at kakaraniwan hanapin mo yung ina, magpatulong ka sa anak. Ang gospel ngayon ay tinutukoy ang kalagahan, the importance ng pamilya, family. Kasi the family is the seedbed, ang ugat ng simbahan. Kaya dapat pangalagaan natin ang ating pamilya. Maganda naman tingnan ang pamilya pagka sabay-sabay nagsisimba. Pwera lang kung may kanya-kanyang dapat puntahan. Pero mahalaga na habang malilit pa ang mga bata, natuturuan na ng mga magulang magsimba at to behave properly pag sila'y nasa simbahan. Ang gospel ngayon ay tungkol sa pamilya ni Mary, Joseph, and Jesus. Point one. There are times na nawawala sa atin ang Panginoon. Let us examine our conscience for the times when we lose the Lord in our life. Madaling isagot at hindi maling sagot kapag tayo'y nagkakasala. Huwag tayo'y maski, maski kasalanang bibig kasi ang bibig ang nagpapakita ka agad kung paano ka, ka, pagkawalang galang ang ating puso, ang bibig, ang dila. Kaya babantayin natin ang ating dila kasi yan ang thermometer ng ating kaluluwa. Ang gospel says na wala ang Panginoon. Let us examine our conscience now. Mga instances na nawawala ang Panginoon sa buhay natin. Examine our conscience well para naman marunong tayo mag-ingat. Let us learn our lessons when we lose the presence of the Lord. And let us try to straighten our life so that we will be more constant and consistent in our companionship with the Lord. We all stand for the prayers of the faithful. Let's pray to God, our loving Father, that following the example of Mary, we may always seek and do His will. We respond, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. 
that the church may practice the humility of Mary in willingness to serve God and men. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That Christ may find a welcome abode in the hearts of people as he found a well-prepared dwelling place in Mary. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That true spirit of prayer may deeply penetrate the hearts of people that they may hear the cry of the poor as it permitted the whole being of Mary's immaculate heart. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who are sick in mind and body may find healing and consolation through the powerful intercession of Mary. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the dying may look up to Mary as their source of strength and comfort as she stood by the cross of her son. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Pagdasal po natin ang, ang ating mga kilala at maski na yung mga taong hindi natin kilala na nakalimot na magsimba at nakalimot na magumpisar. Umpisar natin ang ating sarili sa pangungumpisar. God, our Lord and Master, plans our hearts that we may receive Christ, your only Son, in the spirit of Mary's faith and obedience. We ask this through Christ, our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed Lord God of all creation, true goodness. Here is bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the master of this water and wine, may we come to share the divinity of Christ. Humble himself to share in our humanity. Blessed Lord God of all creation, to your goodness we have this wine to offer for the divine work of human hands to become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord God, we ask you to receive us. Be pleased with sacrifice we offer with humble and contrite hearts. Please stand. Pray that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name for our good and the good of all His holy church. Receive, O Lord, we ask the prayers of your people with the sacrificial offerings that through the intercession of Blessed Mary, the mother of your Son, no petition may go unanswered no request be made in vain, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. Surely right and just our duty and our salvation to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints, especially as we celebrate in memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Proclaim your kindness as we echo our thankful hymn of praise. For truly, even to earth's ends, you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you looked in the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us through her, the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty, rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praises we acclaim. Oh, 
Indeed, holy O Lord, you found the one holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, sending down your spirit upon them like a new fall, so that they may become for us body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time was betrayed, entered willingly into his passion, took bread, giving thanks, broke it, gave it his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. Similar way when supper was ended, took the chalice once more, giving thanks. He gave it his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks of held as worthy to be in your presence, minister to you. Humbly we pray, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, the Archbishop, Fidelis, the Auxiliary, and all the clergy. Let us now pray for our dead. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. All have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the lights of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, blessed Apostles, Saint Dominic and all the saints of please you throughout the ages, May merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. May praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. Let's now pray with confidence to the Father in the words the Savior taught us.
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Grace, liberty, and peace in our days. By the help of your mercy, we be always free from sin, safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ said to our apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer its other design of peace. Peace be with you. Peace with you. Peace be with you. Lamp of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Love of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Love of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Please kneel for the prayer for families. We now pray, special, make a special prayer for the family. Heavenly Father, Father, we come before you to praise you and to thank you for the great gift of the family. We pray to you for all families consecrated by the sacrament of matrimony. May they rediscover each day the grace they have received, and as small domestic churches, may they know how to witness to your presence and to the love with which Christ loves the church. We pray to you for all families faced with difficulty and suffering caused by illness 
or circumstances of which only you know. Sustain them and make them aware of the path of to holiness upon which you call them so that they might experience your infinite mercy and find new ways to grow in love. We pray to you for children and young people. May they encounter you and respond joyfully to the vocation you have in mind for them. We pray for parents and grandparents. May they be, be aware that they are signs of the fatherhood and motherhood of God and caring for the children who, in body and spirit, you entrust to them. For experience of fraternity that a family can give to the world, Lord, grant that each family might live their specific vocation to holiness in the church as a call to become missionary disciples in the service of life and peace, in communion with our priests, religious, and all vocations in the church. Bless the world meeting of families. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Having made partakers of eternal redemption, we pray, O Lord, that we who commemorate the mother of your Son may glory in the fullness of your grace and experience its continued increase for our salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your the spirit. Almighty God bless us all, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. We go in peace. Thanks be to God. Prayer for the blessing of the sick. God, Almighty Father, by your blessing, give us strength, support, and our frailty. Turn with kindness towards your sick brothers and sisters. Free them from illness, restore them to good health. Through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In memory of the mysteries of life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, to the honor and glory of Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. May these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed by the Holy. In the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God.